So first thing, product research. Product research is by far the most important thing on the Etsy platform, like most, most, most important thing on the Etsy platform, whether it's the actual kind of Etsy side of things or with the wider e-commerce side of things as well. Like product research is the thing that sets you apart from absolutely every single other person on the Etsy platform. So if you have the best products in the world, it doesn't matter if you're advertising or your SEO or anything else is shit. If you have the best products, then you will win. The reason, the real way to actually win a product research is not using tools, is not using any of this bullshit kind of tools and aspects out of things, right? The real way to actually re win a product research is to understand why and yeah, why people want to purchase those types of products. If you understand why someone wants to purchase a certain type of product, you're able to find those certain types of products. If you're able to spot gaps within the market, then you're able to win, right? If you're able to spot those gaps in the market that other people can't spot, come in, provide a product to those people, then you're gonna win, right? Or if you see all the competition in that particular market is absolute shit, you come in, you beat them in one of a couple of different ways, then you'll dominate, absolutely dominate, right? Absolutely dominate. What if, you don't, what if you don't have the best products? If you don't have the best products, then you need to do one of three things typically, right? In business, it's, it's generalized one into three things. So it's price, like Craig's triangle, uh, <laughs> price, speed, or quality. So typically the easiest one to compete on is price. Obviously this is gonna mess up your competition, mess up kind of everyone, but price is kind of the easiest thing to generally compete on because you can just lower your price very easily. Whereas speed, a little bit harder because you can actually think critically about the agent and stuff like this, or it's actual quality of the item. So let's say you're adding a gift basket or a gift bag into the actual things, right? So how do you find these best products? So the actual best way for a beginner to find products on the Etsy platform is to do a very, very simple model. So the very simple model is find other products on the platform that are selling well in whatever niche. Typically I recommend jewelry, but whatever niche, it doesn't really matter. Find products in any niche that are winning, right? That are doing well right now. Easiest way to do this without using tools, you can use tools, but the easiest way to do this without using tools is just to go into the description, see product reviews, um, rather than store reviews, there's two different tabs in the description, product reviews, click most recent, done. You can kind of tell based upon this, right? So that's one thing I would say, it's really focused on that. And if you find these products that are already winning, you're either able to find similar products and add them to the platform, find them on AliExpress, then you can find different suppliers, but find products on AliExpress, a good place to find them. Or you can just directly one for one steal those products, change a couple different things, change the pricing, change the kind of offer slightly, and then you can list that product. Right? Like that works incredibly well, just kind of basically copying someone else and just changing the offer slightly or finding similar products to one that is already winning. Super quick interruption. After you finish watching this video right here, go check out the video that's the top link in the description where I detail exactly how I made over £200,000 from Etsy dropshipping in just three months. Go check it out, but watch this video first.